Hi you guys. So let's do another experiment today. Um, I have been doing a lot of growing in pots as you know and I've um, come up with the conclusion that growing in pots that, that are this size uh, just really isn't worth the time because of how much watering I need to do. In this pot I've got a jalapeno that's flowering and has fruit set on it as well as this one, they were both planted at the same time in the same size pot. And so I started uh, moseying around the interwebs and we're looking for ideas on how to make the water in the pots last longer. And then I came across sodium polyacrylate, which is the white powdery substance that's in baby diapers. You can also buy it from um, garden supply centers. People uh, wet the gel or mix it dry in with uh, the pots and it absorbs an incredible amount of water which it will then um, release as the pot dries out. I'm just going to put a bunch of water in here so I can get this full of water and we can look at what's inside there. So I decided I've got these two pots. I'm watering them a couple times a day. Why don't I transplant them into bigger pots? And one of them we will mix with the sodium polyacrylate. And uh, just check them out, see if this stuff really works. Now, I'm an organic gardener. Uh, a lot of people say online that this is totally fine. They're even saying it's organic, it's just a polymer, don't worry about it. I don't buy it. I'm not recommending this until I do more research um, as a matter of course, but I'm just suggesting that it might be a way to make water last longer if you're in a situation where water is super precious. You don't have the time or energy to be watering multiple pots and maybe you only have pots this size. So it's it's more of a concept experiment um, and we'll do some more research into what this polymer is and how it can potentially affect the body good or bad if it's in the soil only and how it affects the soil and etc etc. Read from Manifestation of Imagination uh, will probably have something to say about this. He often knows things about this kind of thing so Reed I'm going to tag you and ask you what you know about that. Maybe you can put it down in the comments and if you guys haven't seen his channel check it out. I'm going to do that thing and put it in a corner somewhere. So I'm going to um, well, look how much bigger this has got. Let's go ahead and rip into this thing and we'll go ahead and take out the gel that's now formed in here and put it into one of these containers and then we'll transplant both of these plants. One thing I do want to say is I would normally never transplant a plant that is flowering and fruiting. These are going to go into shock and I may lose the plants. I'm going to try to be so super careful when I when I transplant them. I'm not going to break roots. I'm really just going to be super careful with these and I'm going to put them back in the exact place they were before. So. I'm going to try to um, make them go through as little trauma as possible. However, potentially we could lose both of these plants. This is not the time to transplant a plant. But, you know, for the love of science, we're going to give it a shot. So, all right, let's go ahead and take this thing apart. All right, so we've got all that gel in here, and I'm just going to mix it around in this dirt a little bit and add some dirt, extra dirt here. 
was trying to guess to see how much I'm going to actually end up adding to the whole, this whole pot when it's finished. So I'm just going to mix it. And I'm using one whole number three diaper, three-year-old diaper. I mean a diaper for a three-year-old. <laughs> I don't know how old it is. I picked these up just at Kroger. Um, I got 36 of them for like $6.95 or something. Um, I don't know if they don't sell them at like Dollar Gen or Dollar Tree, but they do at Dollar General because Dollar General is just I'm not exclusively a dollar store. So you can also just buy this stuff um, directly from a garden center, but I just wanted to do a small scale project and you know, just give this a shot and play around with it. All right, so I got this all mixed up in here, but what I'm going to do now is get another bucket with dirt just in the bottom. Pick one of these plants. We'll pick this one. Let's just dry fit it. Looks pretty good. And then I'll take this uh, dirt that's got the polymer in it and just put it around the plant. So... I'm just going to tip it over upside down. Well done. It just came right out in my hand. See, it's got a great root system. Normally I would break that up, but I'm just being super abundantly cautious with this. So I'm going to take some of this, put it down on the bottom. And since the roots are all around, if I pack that dirt all around this, we should have access to those polymers and we'll see if it works. All right, so we got everybody planted up here and labeled. So here's our polymer pot with the jalapeno. Actually, I think these are serranos, serrano peppers. My jalapenos are in this bed and they're much, yeah, these are serranos. Um, anyway, uh, there's a polymer and here's our control. I wanted to say that when we first started this experiment and I poured the water over the diaper, it absorbed about um, half, a quarter of a gallon, half of a half gallon, a quarter of a gallon of water. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Uh, mo many days I come out and these plants are like, uh, you know, they need to get perked back up again. So it's pretty apparent that uh, they need some more water. And uh, I also just wanted to say that some people suggest you take the diaper, open it up, and then just plant the, this whole thing in the bottom of the pot and then just put your dirt over the top so the roots can just reach out and grab this uh, water when it wants to. But I don't want to have that plastic. I mean, I guess this, the sodium polyacrylate are, already has plastic in it, but I don't know. Why add more? Why add more? Why do it? So just don't. All right, so we're going to just water these in, and I'm um, going to just kind of keep an eye on everything and see what, what it looks like from day to day and see which one needs more water. Not a very scientific experiment, but interesting. So if you know anything about this process, have used it before, or... Um, know anything about the uh, polymer I would love to hear from you so give me uh, some comments below on that check out read for manifestation of imagination and yeah that's it we'll do a check-in uh, I don't know in a couple weeks so thanks you guys for watching bye